I'm Ian Somerville and in this video I'm going to be talking about an important system attribute, the system's dependability. For many software intensive systems, the most important attribute of the system is the system's dependability. Informally, the dependability of the system is the extent of the user's confidence that the system will behave as expected and will not damage the user's data or cause other adverse effects. You can think of it really as the extent to which a user trusts a system. So therefore the dependability relates to the trustworthiness of the system. Dependability is important because system failures have widespread effects. They may affect hundreds, thousands or tens of thousands of users. If a system is unreliable or unavailable or generally undependable in some way, it will not be trusted by its users and they'll simply stop using that if they possibly can. And if they can't, they will only use part of the system's capabilities to try and avoid the problems of undependability in the system. If a system is, is a critical system, the costs of the system failure may be extremely high. So a failure, for example, in a, a control system in a manufacturing plant can cause widespread damage to equipment with the consequent millions of pounds or dollars of replacement costs for that equipment. And undependable systems can cause information loss and the costs of recovering from that information loss and the disruption that it causes can again be very high indeed. Now, as I said in my introductory video to critical systems, dependability is a composite property. It's an amalgam of four separate properties, the system availability, the system reliability, the system safety, and the system security. I'll be talking about all of these in separate videos. Availability and reliability are probabilities. Availability is the probability that the system will be in service. And reliability is the probability that a system will respond correctly when a demand is made on it. Safety and security are judgments. We can measure availability and reliability, but we can't really measure system safety and security. The system safety is a judgment made by a range of different people about whether or not the system is safe in its operation and that it will not cause damage to people or the system's environment. The system security is again a judgment. It's a judgment made as to whether the system is secure enough so that it can't be compromised by external attack and that the system and its data will not be damaged by such attacks. Now these attributes are not independent, which is one reason why we put them together under the general heading of dependability. Obviously, safe system operation depends on reliable behaviour of a system and, in many cases, the system has to be available, otherwise there are safety consequences. If a system is insecure, is penetrated and corrupted by an attack, even if that system was previously safe, we can no longer be confident that the system remains safe in its operation. A common security attack is a denial of service attack and the aim of that is to make the system unavailable. And if there's an attack that corrupts the data, that may cause unreliability in the system's operation. We have to consider all of these properties, availability, reliability, safety and security together rather than, rather than as completely separate properties. Although I will have separate videos which look at them individually so, because it's important to understand the differences between them. It's really important to understand that dependability is subjective it depends on the perspective, on the viewpoint of the observer of the system. One observer 
may have particular expectations of a system and if it doesn't fulfill these expectations they consider it to be undependable. Another observer may have different expectations and consequently they see the system as dependable. So dependability is a judgment. For example, let's say there's a banking system that delays updating the information so that it's only updated, say, twice a day. Recent transactions are therefore not shown in the system. One user may be quite happy with this and consider this to be perfectly acceptable and dependable system. Another user who has perhaps experience of a different system where transactions and accounts are updated in real time may feel that this system is undependable. There's also <coughs> the extent to which a user trusts a system and the trust in a system is often affected by previous behaviour. So some users have never had problems with systems and they don't do backups. Unwise, yes. Others have had problems and they back up regularly to ensure that if these problems recur, then they can recover from them. But it's all to do with individual attitudes and, and how people feel about the trust. So it's a subjective notion. If we talk about dependability, in a formal terms, we really have to make reference to the system specification. So the system specification defines its behavior. And if we see the system behaving differently, then we can say it's exhibiting undependable behavior. But there are two problems here. The first problem is that the specification may not reflect the real needs of the system users. More often than not, that's the case, partly because the needs of the users change over time much more quickly than the system specification can be updated. It's also the case that users don't read specifications. So they don't know what the specification says they come to the system with a set of expectations and these are what they use to judge its dependability. In summary then, dependability is a composite property that reflects the degree of trust that users have in a system. They may consider the system to be dependable or undependable. The elements of dependability are four other properties, availability, reliability, safety and security and dependability is subjective it depends on the expectations of the observer of the system behavior so that different observers will have different views on whether or not a system is dependable you can download the slides that accompany this video from my slideshare account